Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of BDR Vlog. Jesse here. This time I'm getting to make some rad trophies. Guy asked me the, uh, a few weeks ago if I could make some rad trophies for a lowrider club comp thing. For a lowrider club competition. And I've gladly taken the honours in like, fuck yeah. So um, I've been teasing with the idea on uh, Instagram and like by scaling up what size I want the trophy and I've made these rims out of like some 50 mil stainless tube, drilled a heap of holes, put the welding wire through it and then welded it all the way around. Whoops. Then cut it off. My God, that went a long way. So anyway, that was like 160 holes just in there because there's a heap of spokes times five bikes slash trophies, which is 10 rims in total. So yeah, what we're going to do today is, that's the scale, everything there, and I'm just going to make the frame out of this bit of brake line that I had lying around. I didn't want to throw it out because our bin like gets totally full and it's nice and bendy and yeah, it was free. So I'm going to use the brake line to bend around for the frames, make a little jig so they're all the same and we'll go from there. All right, now we've got one frame kind of tacked up. We can go ahead and make all the other parts the same size so that make five of each so that we're ready to just smash out five of the same thing. Wow, it's looking a bit chunky, but I reckon that'll be all right for a trophy. But anyway, that's it compared to the um, template. I've decided to put bars on both sides. Was only just gonna do one, but it's not gonna work. And yeah.
All right, guys, that's it. Uh, finished the bases. I might do two coats. Uh, I just sanded it with 80, 120, and then 240 grit sandpaper that I just got from Bunnings. Took a little while, but I feel like it finally looks half all right because I'm shit at anything to do with timber. Anyway, I just used this Beast Watson Satin Varnish Black Japan or something. Pretty much just the name of it drew me in and then seeing what it looked like on the thing, on the board. So all that's left to do now is polish the seat and all the stuff on the bike, the copper stuff to make it really pop. And then I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna sick of flex them to the timber and we're good to go, but I'm getting pretty tired now and it's time to cook some pizza. Polish the, polish the copper MIG tips on the top. They come up pretty rad. Even polish the handlebars and they come up pretty rad. If you don't go too far because it's only copper coated MIG wire, you keep polishing it and it goes a little bit silvery colored. But anyway, now all I've got to do is get some Sikaflex, uh, 221 Sikaflex stuff. This is how the timbers turned out last night. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, we're going to glue that on and that will be us finished. Thanks for watching. If you do like, happen to like this stuff, maybe you consider subscribing, drop a comment, like it. If you've got any questions or you want me to build you something, let me know. Yeah, thanks again for watching. I'm gonna do, I'm going to do a vlog on the actual day because I'm going to have a look at it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it and yeah, peace.